Hello and welcome to Scotty Cigars. Today we are trying the Vegas Rabena Classicos. Hi, so welcome back. The Vegas Rabena, for those of you that haven't heard of them, they're not a massive, massively well-known brand of Cuban cigar. Um, I hadn't heard of them until someone mentioned them uh, mentioned them to me, they'd read about them in a book and asked me what were they like and I thought well, I don't really know because I've never actually had one. They're one of those cigars that you sort of you see and then you just sort of pass over. I don't know why <clears throat> why that happens uh, but it's a double cap cigar. This is a Vegas Rabena Classicos. It's been in my humidor for about eight 18 months, 18 months. <clears throat> the smell, very earthy. Very earthy, rich, earthy, floral. That's probably a better way, floral. So it's a Lonsdale cigar. Uh, it's a 42 ring gauge and it is 165 mil long or in, in, in Imperial, six and a half inches. Now, this is only the second one I've ever had. The first one I had within three months of buying them. Um, so I cannot really remember what that was like. <clears throat> so this will be a good review. In terms of the wrapper itself, it's fairly smooth. The cigar is fairly, fairly even to feel when you squeeze it. but it's fairly supple. The foot is in good condition. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is probably around 2014, 2013, but don't quote me on it. <clears throat> and I don't know how much these are at the moment. I can't even remember how much I paid for them, but if you want to Google Vegas Rabena Classicos, I think they're probably around 18 quid, I would assume. Well, first light, it's not too bad. It's earthy. There's a lot of earth. I mean, it smells floral, but there's quite a lot of earth in the, in the first light. The taste is is slightly uh, metallic. There's, a, there's an ever so slight metallic taste to it. It smells it smells rustic, earthy, and, and, and a bit leathery. But I tell you what, it's a it's a good draw. That is a really good draw, and you could probably tell by the amount of smoke coming out of it that it means business in terms of its strength body and flavor it's quite low on the flavor front for me there, there isn't an awful lot of distinction um, but sometimes that's a good thing if sometimes you get cigars that are so overpowering and a certain flavor that they really do suit a certain situation. I can I can see this cigar, in terms of its flavour, being a jack of all trades and master of none. My first my first impression. It reminds me a little bit of a Dominican cigar. 
a little bit Macanudo-esque as well. I reckon I could rattle through this. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's actually got a little bit of a bend to it. I don't know if you can see. That's the, the bend up. That's the happy angle. And that would be bend down. So it's sort of doing that, which is quite strange. It's hard to eye it through. That was probably quite a good. It's hard to eye it through from a camera lens. Yeah. What's going on with this foot? Try and get this in focus. That's a dark spot, it's not a not a hole. I don't know why it's struggling to focus. So burns fairly even. I mean that's quite <clears throat> I know cigars tend to start off quite quick. That's quite a lot. That's probably 10 mil in the first, what, two, three minutes? So it'll be interesting to see how long this actually lasts. <laughs> this is kicking out so much smoke that you could get away with this ring gauge on this cigar at, at, in a breezy, windy location. I mean, we're only inside because it's a little bit chillier today. Um, but if you're up on a, if you're up on a, on the hills, hiking, golf, where the breeze is up, this would be, this would be fine. It could just be this cigar though, so um, I'll get stuck into it, and I'll come back to you when we're a bit further down. So about halfway through now, <clears throat> and I thought this was a good time to start again it's been burning for well it's it's been about 15 minutes since stopping the last the last video maybe maybe 20 um and it's been burning brilliantly uh the combustion of this is like second to none if anything it's just i don't know it's just it's just billowing smoke it's billowing smoke and I did start the camera, I thought this would be a good time because I thought, oh, it's starting to burn a little bit awkwardly up there, but now it's kind of it's kind of catching up with itself. So it's not really burning awkwardly any longer. We're having real focus problems today. Um, could be the light. But yeah, it's kind of... Kind of sourcing itself out. And there we go. It's literally, literally back. So I didn't need any correction. Um, in terms of flavours, I've still got this metallic, metallic flavour, metallic taste from it. Not an awful lot of flavour. Uh, ever so, it, it's basically uh, leather and earth, but it's not, it's not overwhelming by any means I personally prefer uh, a more distinctive flavor for my cigars it is on the bland side and I said earlier just tidy that up a little bit I said earlier that um, that's not necessarily a bad thing some people prefer their cigars to be less flavorsome some people prefer their cigars to be fully flavored with all sorts of, of Flavors. I know my dad likes uh, aniseed, aniseed flavored cigars. I know you get bourbon and things like that as well. So, you know, each to their own. Um, but in terms of the way this is burning, this has got one thing going for it, and the combustion is just is just brilliant. Now it could be a one-off. I don't know how consistent Rabanas are, and I can't really remember too much from my first one. But I remember, I, I do remember now a, a distinct lack of flavor. Uh, from it, um, I've got I've got another um, Vegas Rabana, which I'll also review at some point, hopefully, <coughs> uh, over over the next three four months maybe. But yeah, so far, 
So far, so good. And uh, I'll come back to you a bit more towards the end. So I'm pretty much at the end of this uh, Classicos. Yeah, just double checking I didn't get that wrong. Just taking the, um, or trying to get the ring off. What is my thoughts on this cigar? Well, firstly, I'll probably start off by saying, would I buy another one would be the best question. And my answer would be no. It's not for me. And I remember the first one that I tried being fairly similar to this in terms of its flavor. Um, the only thing it's got going for it is the combustion was just immense. And it slowed down as we've got further down the bottom. But it still kicks out huge amounts of smoke. So in terms of how it actually smokes and what it delivers, it's it's quite uh, it's 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 high up on that list of some of the cigars that kicked out the most smoke I've ever had. Um, but for something of such a small ring gauge, you didn't you don't tend to expect huge billowing amounts of smoke like you would do from from a fifty five ring gauge monster. Um, <clears throat> so in that respect, it was unexpected. Um, would I buy another? Would I buy another one? No. Would I recommend it to someone? No. This is one of those cigars that these people, certain people, would end up trying one or two, a bit like myself, and then deciding for themselves. You wouldn't hear anyone say, or or, or based on this, I would never say what you want to try is a Vegas Rabana Classicos, because it just it wouldn't happen. So the flavour just never really kicked off and came anywhere there was a, a reasonable amount of metallic taste I'm not a massive fan of leathery flavors I mean when it when it first kicked off and when you smelt it it was floral um, which which was was quite nice but uh, it, it tended to veer away and just go more to earth and leather and for me that's not really exciting enough and that's not how I like to enjoy my cigars in, in terms of that that flavor so marks out of 10 well the combustion and burn literally has to be a 10 but I, I haven't corrected it once not once has that been corrected and it's literally straight as a die uh, we've been out here now for probably around an hour and hour and 10 minutes maybe I'm not the fastest cigar smoker um, and the burn is brilliant. That's literally all it's got going for it. Uh, I have heard people rave about Vegas Rabana, and I guess there's a cigar for everyone. Um, but it's not, this particular Classicos is not for me. So, marks out of 10, in my opinion, the, the, so the burn was great, like I said, but combustion was great. The flavour was lacking. Uh, so, out of 10, I'd probably give it a 3 for flavour. Uh, strength. It's it's on the light to medium side, if you ask me. There's it, you couldn't you couldn't say definitively this is a medium bodied, medium strength cigar because it just it wasn't really. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got to say. Overall marks, I'd probably give it a four or five out of ten. It's there or thereabouts. Someone's gonna like it. It's not for me. Um, and that's that's how I'd mark it. Five out of ten. Not every cigar is brilliant, in my opinion, because I know a lot of the ones I've reviewed already have all got really high marks. Those ones I have reviewed tend to be my go-to. Um, this is something unusual. I don't tend to obviously smoke. This is uh, part of a sampler. So I'd give it a five out of 10. Uh, like I said, some people may like uh, a more uh, a less explosive form of flavor from their smokes. So yeah. Thank you very much. You please feel free to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And remember, these are just my opinions of this particular cigar. And you may have a differing opinion and a different experience altogether. Um, so go out and try it. See if you like it. Your experience may be the same as mine. It may be different. But by all means, enjoy your cigars. Thank you.